Ang kutyo. Ang ដូចជាប្រកាសបន្តកិច្ចចំណើរការនេះទេពិធីសម្ណាកាកិច្ចចំណើរការសម្ណាកាថ្ងៃនេះអង្គជម្រះនិងបន្តស្ដាប់សក
สัเมตวีมันอายดังดาวลือประเทศนบัตได้บานพิพิสารุ่ยหายชีวิตเสสู้สมนูได้มีเพียบจำได้หรือมันเปียปอนบานเลยสำนาสมประประไอกษาดีมาพยปีสละมาโรยแปดสปรัมจดปรัมหนึ่งอีใบสละมาปอนบุญโรยสามสปรัมตรบานปัดใส่เจ้าได้อังจุมเรียสดงสำหรับจิลิเลาโซหนึ่งจิงเป็นเดือนปีสมปรกสมปรกขมงนี้ปัจจัยกิจประตออันยิ่งได้สมพระดาวพิธีกาจุนเตอร์กรมวิทยาการพิกัดได้ลูกเอียงสีดังใบมินอกะปัตอการตั้งตำรวจดังดาวจิปุสสะใส Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honors. So, good morning to everyone in and around the courtroom. And good morning, sir. Uh, let's pick up where we left off last Thursday. And just to refresh your memory, we were discussing part of your testimony from August 6, uh, 2012, and I'm referring to, to the English page 64, Khmer is 0083212. 8182 French 0083314435 in English it's 0083324351 and we touched on this a little bit you provide an answer where you say that Mr. Ng Shri was in charge of foreign affairs of the center and as for the intellectuals arriving from France who were, in, who were the former members of the Marxist-Leninist circle, he was also responsible for the group as well, and that included yourself. You then went on to say, or to clarify, what was meant by responsible and in charge, and you indicated uh, Pol Pot. So Pol Pot made also also made the decision regarding the appointments for us, and that it was Mr. Ng Sri who was actually directly responsible for carrying out your, the, your duties. Do you recall making those statements, sir? เจ้าปฐมสมกรุกลูกปฐินสมกรุกบองบองสมกรุกองสาวกาศแห่งมูลบาเยี่ยมจำทาเยี่ยมบานนิยิปดอลสกัยกรรมแบบนี้แมนเ
ចំពោះបញ្ញាជនដែលមកពីប្រទេសបារាំងតាលោកនៅរសាចម្លើយបែបនេះដែលរទេសលោកសាក់សេះអឺខ្ញុំសូមបញ្ជាក់ថាហើ
as an example, perhaps you can help us here uh, and confirm whether this would be an example. Uh, I'm referring to E3 slash 42. And in Khmer, it's 0, 0, 3, 2, 7, 2, 0, 6, 2, 0, 7. French, 0, 0, 3, 2, 7, 2, 2, 6, 2, 7. And English, 0, 0, 3, 2, 7, 2, 1, 7. And this document uh, is... Uh, your statement of May 6, 2009. And you were asked the question, and I believe you even touched on it already, where you were, you were asked, did you have any contact with Nunchia from 1975 to 79? And we see part of your answer is, I never had any contact with Nunchia from 75 to 79 because he was not dealing with the foreign policy. It was Pol Pot who took care of this. Uh, would it be fair to say, uh, well, do you stand by that, that it was Pol Pot who was taking care of, of the foreign policy at the time? Uh, ក៏មាននិយាយដូចនោះក្នុងឋានៈគាត់ជាលេខាបបបកាត់មានសិទ្ធិជាស្វ័យប្រវត្តិដើម្បីនឹងដឹកនាំហើយត្រួតត្រា
Thank you, sir. And uh, for the record, uh, we can find your previous testimony on this matter on pages 79 to 78 the Zero zero eight three three two six six to six seven. Uh, now, uh, would that be an example uh, of how of micromanaging in the sense of how you conveyed it to uh, Philip Short? តើតាមលោកនិយាយយោងដូចគ្នានឹងអ្វីដែរ Nompelukunachnamipanpambunroy, កាតេតងធម្មតាទេយើងមិនតាន់ផ្លាស់ប្ដូរអាចអរតទូតទេគឺលោកពិចៃរតកុណអាចអញ្ជើញមកទស្សនកិច្ចតែនៅស៊ី
ขนมธนาชีสมาชิกธรรมดาในขังกรมระบบปะกรมในกรรมเชียกยมมันอาจดังบานทาตาสไตสมัยเอาไว้ไว้ในกรมรัฐนาดังน้อมทัวร์ดอยสมุทรเพียบตามประเทศเทวตายประมงพมสลบตามโกลคาโรปะยานานุเตยมันอาจดังบานเตยเป็นไว้ได้เจงปีเจียสมรัยโรปะเจียทอมลาที่เกิดทางขนมธนากอดเจลิคาโรปะกอดเตยเตยตะทัวร์เขาเตยจุ่มปัวสกัดสมรัยโรปะได้ในน้อมอ้อยสมาชิกทอมลาโรปะอันวัดบ่า All right. Well, let's go back to the black book. From what you witnessed and from what you told us, Pol Pot directed it, dictated it, approved it, and no one was able to edit it. From what you were able to see, was it the party that drafted the black book, or was it Pol Pot? He and he alone. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs les juges, euh, chers confrères, Monsieur le témoin. Euh, cette question a déjà été posée auparavant par Maître Carnavas. Et il la repose parce qu'il vient de recevoir une réponse qui peut-être n'allait pas dans le sens qu'il souhaitait, mais il n'y a pas de raison de reposer la même question au témoin. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Well, Mr. President, we receive one answer with respect to an example, and then we receive another answer. And there seems to be an inherent contradiction. Part of the process is to try to see whether we can bring some clarity to these contradictions. So I leave it to you, Mr. President, whether to proceed with this line or to move on. ว่าสกัดจุ่มตัวหนึ่งสมัครเฮดในสกัดจุ่มตัวระบบตำนานสาปีนี้เมียนมูลฐานเติมเติ้ลจำนวนนี้ปัจจัยจำได้เลยโดยเฉพาะสกัดจุ่มตัวเมียนบริษัทเพียบสะใส่มันไปคลายตอบแต่หนึ่งสมนุวดได้สู้จังกรอยได้มีตัวบีกาปีกระไดใบหนึ่งทีให้เติมเติ้ลได้อ่อนกำไรส่งลมลึกลงมีตัวบีธาแล้วก็ใบดิบจำในสมนุวด Đại nội xe xa lỡ, chỉ viên hỏi bán chỉ ở tệ bà má nơi ở xung nô để cho làm đài lời. Thank you for the reminder, Mr. President. If we could go to the next page on the same document, you indicate, you were asked a question about Mr. Ng Sri, and then you say, that is correct. It is also true that he chaired the CPK Central Committee Commission on Foreign Affairs. But I do not know about those activities. What I would like to add that in communist countries, it is normal that certain institutions are only fronts and have no members apart from the chairman. This was the case for the Commission on Foreign Affairs, which was composed solely by Ng Sri, who reported directly to Pol Pot. Do you see that part of your answer, sir? And
when you say that this was common in com communist countries to have fronts, you know, in other words, fictitious commissions and committees and institutions, can you please tell us who would have been responsible for creating these fronts? Because you go on to say, at least in this instance, that Ing Sheree reported directly to Pol Pot. ខ្ញុំមិនបានដឹងច្បាស់ឯងទេបាទប៉ិនបើ <coughs> លោកអ៊ីងសរីហើយក្រោមមកមានពួកខ្ញុំមានហ្នឹងគឺថានៅក្រោមមកកបគាត់ជាកម្មាចបាលនៅ but we were talking and discussing uh, your answer about this front that was established, the, the Central Committee Commission on Foreign Affairs. And you said that this was a front. Do you know who established this front? Who tried to create this fiction of a commission that reported that had Ing Sri as chairman reporting directly to Pol Pot. If you know, fine. If you don't know, just say so and I'll move on. ក្រោមគណៈកម្មកម្មាធិការចិនត្រ័យហើយនៅប្រទេសខ្លះដូចនៅប្រទេសចិននៅវៀតណាមហើយការិយាល័យនយោបាយនឹងហើយនៅលើ
มีนชั่วกันนักกรรมการนี่กันนักกรรมกันนู้เหมือนเต้นเมียนเมียนเมียนประเทศนึกแล้วกรรม Mr President I'm going to cut off the witness I'm going to cut off the witness is not responsive to my question and is eating up my time I asked him for a direct answer Now if the gentleman doesn't know he can say so but he's not here to give speeches It's non-responsive to my question สะใจชลอยตอบตนังสมนูได้สู้ให้ยืงมันจำเรียบจูนลูกเลยให้เนื้อขนมไก่จำราการนี้เอาไว้ได้ลูกดังคือลูกชลอยถัดดังเอาไว้ได้มันดังชลอยทำมันดังถือคลายถือชอบให้กันนาทัติบายเชิญนอยเมียนปัญหากันแต่ชราหลังกันแต่หมกทมัยถึงพิจิตรเหลือร้อมระบอกลูกตีปีสมลูกมิตรวิรุมลักมาดองตีจกอดมกอลเคยท่าสมนุจรมได้ชราอันการลางในปรกนี้ยังกระปงแต่ปีนิดปิจารณาเลยปัญหานี้ถ้าตากู้แต่ประพฤติแต่ยังมาโดยไม่ได้ระเบียบในวิธีสร้างนกาตั้งสมนุตุนนี้ทีบจมวยหนึ่งสมนุจรมได้ให้นึ่งสมนุกลายอ่องเห็ดแบบเสียงๆแต่กอดมิ้นลงลงเปลี่ยนในบัดปีเศร้าในนกาดำนากากลงมานี้ปัจจัยตัวใบยางนากระดอยกู้แต่ตระบันปีนิดดังเชียวเวียงบ้านดำใบประกันหรือบุญกันจำนาการในเด็กพิธีสำนาการอภิปรตุดาวิชาประหารหนึ่งเมียนประสิทธิเพียบรวมไปพิกระตินดำยางเจาะฉบับยางเปิดประกอบขนมกาสไฟดอกกาเปิดสมชื่อนำนางทะเบียนยะมีสิสุดเลยนะเทอร์นเพราะสิ่งนี้ก็ไม่ได้ประสบความสำเร็จในมาตรการสองสามสองสามสองสามสองสามสองสามสองสามสองสามสองสามสองสามสองสามสองสามสองสาม Induit, je pense en quelque sorte, le témoin en erreur, ne prenant pas en compte l'entièreté de ses déclarations à propos de l'importance de cette commission des relations extérieures. Et je ne sais pas si je peux citer ce document, mais ce document E3 bar 377 à la page 4 en français dit. Excuse me, Mr. President. Now we're having the prosecutor. ใจนำนาทับเลยเนี่ยไอ้เลอะไอ้ยัยปัญหาเส้นนำนาทับเลยเนี่ยจึงเชิญนำนาทับไปเนี่ยขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอบคุณท่านประธานขอ
This is rich coming from the prosecution. They routinely do this all the time, and then they say you can cover it on your, when you examine. This is what happens, Mr. President, when you delegate your authority to the prosecution to go ahead with initialing the questioning and turning them into this, uh, into this uh, uh, adversarial proceeding. That's what you've done, because they ask their questions that are for their case. They're not asking the questions that you would ask exhausting for both sides and then allowing the parties to supplement. I'm entitled to conduct my examination based on their examination and based on the answers of the witness. I do not have to follow their script. If they wish to ask to question the witness thereafter as a rebuttal, then we can introduce that system as well. But this is the problem. You've turned this into an adversarial proceeding. This is no longer a civil law land proceeding. It is an adversarial proceeding. The prosecution puts on its case. They show its documents. They question, they question the witness based on selective portions. And when I have objected in the past, and I've said, why but haven't they asked uh, uh, other pa passages? The answer is, you can do that when it's your turn. That's the problem. And I'm entitled to ask questions concerning this statement and to ask for clarification based on the answers that the witness gave today. Nobody's trying to mislead the gentleman. I'm simply asking him who established this front. That was the thrust of my question, not how appointments were made. Who established it? If he knows, fine. If he doesn't know, I'll move on. ខ្ញុំនឹងតមតែមកទៀតសាត់ថ្ងៃឆ្លើយតបតែនឹងសំណួរខ្ញុំរៀបនឹងឆ្លើយហើយមេធាវីមកកាត់ខ្ញុំទ
And I want to go back to uh, a line of questioning, but I didn't get a full answer. Uh, you had indicated in your statement, and I'm referring to E3 slash 372, and in particular, Khmer 00290420. Uh, zero to, to two one uh, French zero zero two nine four three one to three two and English zero zero two nine zero four two six. You indicate here that in your answer, yes, in principle, but in practice, in practice, since Pol Pot's nephew was the head of the, quote, office, unquote, the former could decide whatever he wanted without consulting Ng Suri. And it was the same for the, diplomat, for the diplomats section. And then you give an example. And then you say, on 31 December 1977, the decision was taken to sever diplomatic relations with Vietnam. Normally, this declaration should have been done by my department, but I was presented with a finished text. Ki Chun and Chu Prasad had been asked to write the declaration under the direction of Paul Pot. I want to focus a little bit on Soh Hong. Obviously, from your answer, it would appear that at the time you knew that he was Pol Pot's nephew. It wasn't something that you learned after 79. Is that correct? In, a, in light of his relations with Pol Pot, and given the answer that you've given us, was any deference given to So Hong because of who he was related to? តាមខ្ញុំដឹងខ្ញុំស្គាល់គឺចំណងតាក់ទងជាកូនអឺសូហងអឺមានប្រពន្ធនឹងសូហងក្នុងឋានៈជាមានក្មួយនោះទេក៏ប៉ុន្តែបើមានការតាក់ទងគឺតាក់ទងគឺថាសូហងជាអគ
slash 413. And in particular, it, was, uh, you, it can be found on ហ្នឹងសំដល់សាមសិបមួយអង់គ្លេសគឺសូមសូមសូមសាមសិបដល់សាមសិបមួយអង់គ្លេសគឺសូមសូមសូមសាមសិបដល់សាមសិបមួយ
students like Hong who were affiliated with the UEK were told to wait and none returned home until after uh, April 1975. Now, you've told us that you were in Beijing at or around this time. Can you add some clarity on this? Does David Chandler have it right that as early as 1973 a vetting process was going on at the Beijing Embassy as to which Cambodians uh, would be returning to join in the revolution? Now, บาดคือตาเป็นนู้นคือมีนิสัยเจริญให้ขนุนนู้นก็มีนตั้งแต่ <coughs> หัดโดยทางดาหัดเจียกำลังกายนะดำไปตรอมตรอกลางบ้าเป็นเลยโจลหมดขนุนประเทศวิ่งนั้นมีนดิชนัยแมนมาแต่ my question goes to the vetting itself who could return and who could not Mr. Chandler seems to well, he's indicating that there was a vetting process, a selection process being carried out from the Beijing Embassy. Is he correct in that? ແລະລູກແລ້ຊື່ດາວັດຊັນແລ້ຊື່ຂ້ອຍມາຂ້ອຍໃນຂົງນັ້ນ Okay, this is as early as 1973 we're speaking about. Alright. And um, now at some point you've told us and this would have been on your testimony of um, August 6th and I'm referring to Khmer 0083219922200 French 0083316062 English 0083273 ອັງກະເລສອງສອງໄປສະໄບສະໄບຕະດາຈັດສະບູນເອີ້ຍຢູ່ເຊັດແຕ່ເດີ້ບານຊາວອີຖາເດີ້ເຊັກເຕີຣ
17 March 2009. And perhaps you can add some clarity in light of the last two answers that you've given us about uh, David Chandler and, and this last one, the secretary at the embassies. Uh, you're asked a question, how, were, how was the ER number is, well, I'm referring to the document E3 slash 101, ER number is 00290437 that's the Khmer, French, 00. 290449 and then the English 00290443 and here you indicate everyone went through the Cambodian embassy in Beijing. Since communications between the embassy and Phnom Penh went through two different channels, the party channel and the government channel, it is possible that instructions were given to the party cell directly by Pol Pot. Do you see that part of your answer, sir? Now, the period that you're referring to here, would that be post-75, or would that also include pre-1975? លោកពិធានមុនចិត្តសព្រមដូចបាក់គុំនេះកម្ពុជាដូចមិនតាន់យកអំណាចទេហើយចេញមិនជាតាត់លោកមេធាវីសួរនេះដូចខ្ញុំ
And did she remain secretary of the party after 75? แต่จัดสัปดาห์ឆ្នាំ Uh, and do you know uh, who made the decision to replace her? Or did she voluntarily come back? Okay, ចាំពីក្រុងហានុយមកអឺយូអាស្ដឲ្យសឺរីសអូហ្វខ្វែងកនសឺរីងទីចរានចំពោះលោកទីចរានចំពោះលោកទីចរានចំពោះលោកទីចរានចំពោះលោកទីចរានច
กระทรวงการประเทศกรอนเจียกรอนเจียการฉลองกาเต้มันเป็นที่แนะสำหรับไอ้ถึงอ้อเต้บ่าท่านขอบคุณ Well, going back to your answer, and then we will refer to one of your statements. You say here that the decision was made by Paul Pot. You don't say anything about a standing committee here. This is my first point. This is what you testified on August. Seven. Now, if you look at E3 slash 42, this is your statement of May 6, 2009, and I'm referring to Khmer 00327207. French 00327227228, or I should say to 29, and 00327218 to 19. Here you're asked about the comment on a passage that was made uh, from your ex-wife's book. And you say here that you have the answer in my... You have the answer in my manuscript under the title of the Minister des Affaires Étrangères, Antichamber de la Mort, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Antichamber of Death, question mark, page 154. What can I say is that the cadre that Lawrence Peake mentioned in her book were regional cadre who had problems in their region. They had been called to represent democratic Kampuchea abroad. They received diplomatic training at the Foreign Affairs Ministry, but the decision to call them to Phnom Penh and name them as ambassadors was not taken by the Foreign Affairs Ministry. It was an office 870 decision, i.e. Paul Potts decision. This is a common characteristic of communist regimes. And then you go on to talk about Kim Hort. So here, sir, it appears that you are saying that it was Paul Potts' decision. Do you stand by what you told the investigators on 6 May, which is apparently what you wrote in your book that has been published? Uh, โดยฉนั้นมันไม่ลูกอินสตีก็จีเน่กรุบกรองเต้บ่าโดยฉนั้นเมียนนะบ่าบ่าสันเจลูกอินสตีเมียนโดยทำมันบานจัดตังตังนาตังนาเมียนนะกลายเป็นลูกอินสตีเลยปิดเลยนั่งเลยปิดก้อนเมียนแต่โปรโปรนี่ไอ้เมียนนาทิศโดยฉนั้นโปรโปรก็สมรักก็หายมาก็สูงนานาปีนบอลเซมเซงหายโดยหายจัดตังตัวทุ่นเนื้อนะอันนั้นก็สายแต่ก่อนได้บ่าในเข้มเข้มนาเนื้อราสาตุกจมไล่บอกเข้มยังได้ใช่ไหม Thank you And would that answer also apply to Mr. K. Kim Hoot? Thank you. 
นี่ยนาได้ทัวไว้ตรปกวตรตรตตัวเขาตรอยู่พวกไว้ในบานทัวบนยีจอมตัวขมายิ่งตายยีกบานนาสอนนึงขยมยีนี่มันแมนขยมจังกาเปียนนาหรือลมเอียงตึงนนาเต้ขยมจังนี้ออยเมียนออยออยออยโรคจุดทอดปัดปัดก้อนเอาไว้ขยมบานทัวเอาไว้ขยมบานเขินขยมบานจิมเรียบดอยอัดลมเอียงเต้ Thank you Thank you. Uh, now, I want to turn to a document that was shown to you uh, by my colleague for the Nunchia team, and I'm going to be asking you a series of questions, albeit uh, with a different focus on them, and I'm referring to document D199-26.2, And this seems to be a telegram. How many could you do the light? And this refers to a visit to Cambodia by the Thai Minister of Foreign Affairs, Khmer personalities. It's only two pages long. So I'll be referring to the second page. And of course, you are. Quoted, or it was read to you from this document, a passage, and we can find it. And we can find it uh, on the transcript, Khmer page 18 to 19, French 24 to 25, English is 23, and it's the passage from the second page of this two-page document. I can read the, the ERN numbers if it's necessary. But this is what was read to you. Mr. Pol Pot appeared capable, resolute, and confident. He spoke in the first person. He obviously wanted to impress upon everyone that he is the man who has been running the country since 1975. He also took credit for the policy of friendship with Thailand, saying that he was the one who made the decision to send Ms. Ng Shri to Bangkok in October 1975. By contrast, Ms. Ng Shri cut the figure of a lowly, respectful subordinate. He hardly answered any questions immediately. He seemed anxious to always consult the higher or collegial authority each time. In the course of the discussions, Mr. Ng Sri also relied on Mr. Chun Prasak and Mr. Ki Chun, two seasoned senior officials whose function within the Ministry of Foreign Affairs were not specified. Now we know from your testimony that you were not present, you did not attend the actual meeting itself, so you may not have been able to witness what is being described. But you have indicated that you worked for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs from 75 to 79. You've told us that you know Mr. Ng Shari as well as Mr. Paul Pot. And my question is, in any other meetings that you might have been present, did Pol Pot give the appearance of being a capable, resolute, and confident individual who was running Cambodia at the time? Thank you. 
จะเนี่ยอุดอางไอ้จังเทบ่าก่อนมันลานสำนายจีบุกกุลก่อนมันจังเทปรับปัญญาการดักนมระบอกก่อขนมธนาก่อนเจียเลยขาดบอกปะนั่นคือทานถึงออกเนียนตัวตัวยนต์โปร่งถึงออกเนียนตั้งปีเนี้ยนักนอมสะกาไรบอกก็เราหดเราเนี่ยปุ่ยยังเข้มกับตัวยนต์โปร่งเลยเนาะแต่เจียบกุลเข้มมันเมียนโดยท่ามันเข้มมันลังท่าขนมเปรี้ยเลยไปจุ่มตัวตัวตอนไรกาปลาเตในไทยนั่งเมียนปลปลนั่งเขียนมาได้โจลเตบ่าปลอนี่คือทาจีกาหายคงธนาคอเจียรอนไรตีมุ้ยตัวตัวในเป็นนุกเกิดคงธนาคอเจียรอนไรตีมุ้ยเจียจีนยุรอนไรเป็นนุกเกิดหายรอนไรตีมุ้ยก็ตัวตัวรอนไรก็ส่งกาปลาเตไทยให้ทอมนาที่คือทารอนไรตีมุ้ยแต่แต่จัดตั้งหายสำลักมันจูนรันไรกาบอเตเตอปเตนุเตอปเตนี้อันนั้นจีกาทอมนะขนกาจัดตังให้ตามเขียวเมือเท่าก่อนมันเมียนบินจิงใหญ่สนาดายเตปกติเชตรังเท่าคือตา Sir let me cut you off here because my question is in other meetings did you witness Pol Pot in the manner in which he's described here That's the thrust of my question because you told us you weren't at the meeting. So, anything about the meeting itself, you may be speculating. Merci, M. le Président. Je crois que le témoin vient de répondre à cette question et donc il est répétitif. Euh, par ailleurs, j'aurais pu me lever auparavant parce qu'il me semble qu'on invite le témoin à tirer de certaines conclusions. Et la question n'est peut-être pas assez précise non plus parce qu'on ne sait pas de quel genre de réunion exactement, à quel genre de réunion la défense fait référence et est-ce qu'il y a une série de présents, etc. Bon, en tout cas, je, je, je ne crois que fondamentalement cette question elle, a déjà reçu une réponse de la part du témoin et donc elle est Mr. President, I asked him if he witnessed other such meetings. The answer could be yes or no if he has, he appeared this way or he didn't appear that way. That's, it's, there's nothing repetitive, but I'll move on for the sake of, of, uh, of moving on. Now, um, You talked about knowing Pol Pot very well. You told us this on August 16th, that you personally knew him very well and that you were not afraid of him. And this can be found in the transcript on page 24 to 25 in the Khmer version, French 32 to 33 in English, page 30. And then you indicate that I only learned of what happened during the regime only after 1979, and even if I were to know what happened during the regime, maybe I would not dare to refuse that offer. This is in respect to you meeting with Pol Pot when he offered you a particular position. Now. In the context of what you, of your answer, I want to clarify a couple of points. On August 8, 2012, you've told us, and this can be found on Khmer, 0083-4205, French, 00834407 English 00834298 You said, when I was in Beijing, I could never imagine that Pol Pot 
whose original name was Solosar, was actually the secretary of the party. We all thought that Kyu Sampan or Ing Shiri was the party secretary. But he never thought that it was Pol Pot. So I cannot say for sure and respond completely to the question. To your question. Now, and so my question is, how is it that you are very much involved in party politics and party affairs from your days in Paris and then your activities in Beijing. You know Pol Pot very well. At least that's what you've told us. Perhaps not as well at that point in time. But how is it that you could never imagine that it was Pol Pot himself that was the secretary of the very same party that you were a member of? How could that be? ខ្ញុំមិនអាចប៉ាន់ប្រមាណ <coughs> Wong Mark Linin, men look his party, but he and the show. Hi, Kim Skull Paul Pornung, pale little Nationam upon Murray Hats of Pomoy, pale like him to crew who Sastracha, no, and no chair like I get your note more, Jamran Vichier. God bring in a sasa parang, Kim Bangrian, Provatsa, no Pumisa. Hi, Mun Mien, Senyana, some called a cotton at our suit. សូមដឹងថាលោកពលពតគាត់រូបរាងគាត់ស្អាតណាហើយគាត់គូសំណាការុសនៅខ្ញុំរស់នៅជាមួយគាត់គឺស្រួលគាត់ណាអានេះណ
uh, French zero zero to five seven and English zero zero three two seven two four six to four seven. You were asked a question about the relations be between Pol Pot and Ng Shari. And part of your answer or your answer is Pol Pot and Ng Shari had very different personalities and evolved in very different ways. Indeed, Fundamentally, Pol Pot wasn't a, quote, revolutionary, unquote. He had been educated in the royal palace. During his stay in Paris, he enjoyed having fun. Thereafter, he didn't accept any contradiction. For him, a man's life was less valuable then, quote, drop of water in the ocean, end of quote. On the contrary, Ying Shari saved many people. He always asked us to tell him the truth, even if it was unpleasant. He had come to communism very early. In summary, I don't especially want to defend Ying Shari, but I know him very well. And I can say that without the Pilin and Malai revolts in the 1990s, there would still be war. Now, in the context of what you told us, that you were surprised about Pol Pot, but this might be one of the reasons, because Pol Pot, at least when you knew him at Solosar in Paris, was not a revolutionary, and he certainly came from what would appear a bourgeois Background. ปีนี้เอ่อคือมาปีวรรณคัพใดนึกตามแม่นะ <coughs> เนี่ยได้มีรัฐภาพถือជាประเทศปะนั้นคือเวมีนลูกรัฐสมุนก็เนี่ยโดยทางนึงโนจัตตุมให้นึงลูกอิงสรีได้ก็ครบโจลเซอร์ thank you but we're speaking about pol pot maybe so much is my apologies for interrupting but we're speaking about pol pot let me go on to the next uh, question that i have within this answer of yours when you say thereafter meaning pol pot he didn't accept any contradictions. For him, a man's life was less valuable than a drop of water in the ocean. Now, when you say he did not accept any contradictions, what do you mean by that? ตามខ្ញុំដឹងគឺកំណត់ <coughs> ក៏ប៉ុណ្ណែគាត់រក្សានៅគំនិតរបស់គាត់ប្រកាត់ក្រោយពីជ័យចំណេះនៅថ្ងៃទី 
กำเนิดแบบตุยปีกอดหายดีให้บ้านจีเมียนกาตลอดทรุยเมียนกาในอกรตกรรมอย่างทุ่มเทอยู่ช่นไหตามขยมยุลคือโดยสาการกำหนดเมียเกียรติบอกปะเปนุทุ่มปฏิวัติสังคมในยุ่มเลื่อนไปหายเจียระเบียบกรุบกรองแต่อาศัยแต่เลยบุคคลมันได้น้อมเอาเมียนวินิจกรรมโดยใช่ไหมอันนั้นจะการโยนที่ปฐมบอกยมโดยใช้เครื่องมันเมียนวินิจัยทำเอาปีกอดจูจัดสบายหรือเมาปีกอดในสนิทใจหายได้กระนองกำนอนหายได้ท้าจมปวกกอดคือจีบจีบบอมลงมาเนี้ยคือโดยเฉพาะถุงนอตตึกนู้นมันเหมือนเครื่องเมียนมันแต่งยังเทปบอกยมมันดังกอดกิดยังไม่เทปเป็นเครื่องกิดท่าตัวสนะรวมนะเนื้อครองเป็นคำเจียบเจียบไตคือกิดระเบียบนั่งมาคนทำไมตัวนี้คนนั้นสะใสแต่ละนิดเราไปเศร้าหลงมองสมราไอ้เอาอย่างแบบประกาศสมราเพลงนิดที่จะไปเป็นที่เตอร์โคดามองมาดอกมวยขวักพรามนิดที่ต้องมาเชิญเจ้าวิ่งทำไมมันต่อกับจำราคาทำราคาคนไทยรอตบาตลาคาเราอะไรสมราเนื้อตุ่มตรงจำเป็นแบบสะใสเราสะใสเนื้อมีตัวนี้ปรักษาสะใสให้เนื้อเชิญเจ้าวิ่งกอดมากันอะไรเราตะไคร่การมีวิ่งเนื้อวิเลียมองในบานกำหนดสมราจ้ส่งกลับเช้า